Hey tell them guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is about what is enlightenment for me. So I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shinityanda Paramashivam. Uh, I got this question actually in some of the comments in the previous videos. What do you mean? What is enlightenment for you? So I wanted to share in this video, what is enlightenment for me? What the things that I cognize the, the most when it comes to enlightenment? So the first thing that, that really uh, inspired me towards enlightenment was this understanding and experience and yeah, understanding that super consciousness is beyond everything. And that's something that clicked with me very strongly when I heard it. It is something beyond what we know and it is available and you are that and you can experience that and turn that into your reality. So that was already for some reason something like, okay, that's very interesting. I like that. Um, uh, there's other things also, there's some few uh, quick uh, powerful cognitions Swamiji shared about enlightenment which really clicked with me and I'm going to share some of them with you now. One of them he was saying is, enlightenment is living in utter insecurity. And for me when I heard that, I clicked with the idea of romance with the unknown. So enlightenment is about exploring the unknown dimensions of you. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone and exploring life, which is a manifestation of consciousness, and you are that consciousness. So it's basically you exploring the dimensions of you that you have not yet explored. So it makes the whole existence as an adventure, kind of. And I like this idea of, you know, discovering, rediscovering, I would say. And that was another powerful um, click I had about enlightenment. Enlightenment is also another thing Swamiji was sharing that also really clicked me was enlightenment is nothing but playing the right cards at the right moment. Now it clicked with me because I did not expect that. I never thought enlightenment was that. Of course, like it's what I, then what I understood it's like in the world of today, like I shared in some of my previous videos, you know, sometimes, you know, people, we can just shift things around. Like, we don't care. We say something one time, we say something another time. And there's no integrity. There's no consistency in the way we live. We go with the flow, whatever happens now, you know, I express that. And if something is different after that, I express that. And I kind of just just go like a, like a feather in the wind. And, um, and so that, that was basically the, one of the major sources of my suffering is that I didn't know what was reality. I knew that I was a feather in the wind and at some point I got fed up of being a feather with the w in the wind and I looked for something else. And when Swamiji said it's about playing the right cards at the right moment, I was like, okay, that's crazy actually, that's amazing because you have to be in the space of listening. At any moment, at every moment, you have to be in the space of listening to respond to the situation in the way it should be responded. Not from length level, not from breadth level, not from depth, but from space level which means that you need to grasp the space that is around and you need to respond to people and situations from that space, not from what you understand or how you feel, but from the cognitions, the, the way that the space is. And that is also one of the click I had about what is reality. Reality is not necessarily what we see, what we experience and all that, because all this is changing and something that changes cannot be real. It can be eternal, therefore it cannot be real. So, Grasping the space. When you, are in, when you grasp the space, you get in the space because you have to be in the space in order to grasp the space. And that space is eternal. That space is real. And that's basically what enlightenment is for me. Enlightenment is experiencing the reality, experiencing the eternal dimension of life, experiencing the super consciousness. Because in everything, you know, it can be all possible varieties, whether you're an animal, a bird, a human body, whether you're happy, sad, excited, or depressed, everything. Whether you have a house or you sleep on the street, whether you get bit by a dog or you get kissed by a cat, anything that happens, there's always, we are always conscious. We are always aware of what is happening. That awareness is everywhere. Because that awareness is everywhere, that awareness is real. It can be 
labeled as real. Actually, that's the only thing that is real. That's what you start to realize more and more the more you engage in sp with spiritual cognitions. And, and that is very important. So that is one of the main thing I would say, experiencing consciousness, because in everything you experience in life, whether you go through the all kinds of ups or all kinds of downs, you're always aware, you're always conscious, you're always aware of what is happening. And the more you dive into this awareness, the more you experience your consciousness and the more you experience in romance, you experience the romance with reality. And that is what enlightenment is. Enlightenment is nothing but experiencing what is real and engaging with life, with Maya, with the delusion, self-created delusion from the space of consciousness. When you operate from the space of consciousness, you don't respond to life in the way normal people respond to life because you understand the reality behind everything. So yes, that's what I wanted to share in this video. That's my enlightenment. It's all about romance with the reality understanding and seeking what is real, experiencing what is real, and establishing, firmly establishing myself into that and experiencing life from that and responding to life from that, playing the right cards at the right moment from the space of pure consciousness. So with this, uh, tell me in the comments below, tell me what is your, what is your understanding of enlightenment? Uh, what is your cognition of enlightenment? So share in the comments below, uh, put a like, and uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Nityandam.